We are asked to solve the trig equation over the given interval. We are given two sine squared x minus sine x minus one equals zero. It may not look like it, but the left side of this equation does factor. Notice how if we were to let u equal sine x, we could write the given equation as two u squared minus u minus one equals zero. Let's first factor it in this form and then write it back in terms of sine x. If this does factor, it will factor into two binomial factors, where because the first term is u squared, the factors in the first positions will be two u and u. Let's place two u here and u here. The second positions must be the factors of negative one, so that the sum of the inner product and outer product is negative u. So if we place minus one here and plus one here, notice how the inner product is one times u or u. If we add this to the outer product, which is two u times negative one or negative two u, we do get negative u, which is the middle term, and therefore this is factored correctly. And therefore we can also factor the left side of the original equation, where the first factor would be instead of two u plus one would be two sine x plus one and the second factor instead of u minus one is sine x minus one. And this product is still equal to zero, which means two sine x plus one must equal zero or sine x minus one must equal zero. Solving for sine x here, we subtract one on both sides and then divide both sides by two, which gives us sine x equals negative one half, or here we add one to both sides, giving us sine x equals one. Let's find the angles on the unit circle that satisfy these two equations over the given interval. On the unit circle, sine theta is equal to y, and therefore to solve sine x equals negative one half, we find the point on the unit circle where the y coordinate is negative one half. And we know y is negative in the third quadrant and the fourth quadrant. So notice how at this point on the unit circle, the y coordinate is negative one half, which means the sine function value is equal to negative one half when the terminal side of the angle in standard position is this ray here that intersects the unit circle at this point. And we know in standard position the initial side is along the positive x-axis, and therefore the first solution is this angle here, which is 210 degrees, or seven sixth pi radians. And because the interval is given in radians, we will give the solutions in radians. So we have x equals seven sixth pi radians. And now looking in the fourth quadrant, notice how at this point on the unit circle, the y coordinate is also negative one half. And therefore the terminal side of the angle must be this ray here. In standard position over this interval, our second solution is this angle, which is 330 degrees or 11 sixth pi radians. So these are the two solutions to sine x equals negative one half over the given interval. Now we need to find the solution to sine x equals one over the given interval. There's only one point on the unit circle where the y coordinate is positive one which is this point here, and therefore the terminal side of the angle would need to be this ray here. The initial side is here, and therefore the angle over the given interval is 90 degrees, or pi over two radians, or one half pi radians. And therefore the original equation has three solutions. These solutions are one half pi radians, seven sixth pi radians, and eleven sixth pi radians. I hope you found this helpful.